first off, let's get our mics up and get our stream up. Oh boy. I'm seeing James Pond. Mm -hmm. so... Let's just oh, do a, debtors. a reset here so we can get this awesome opening screen. <laughs> Oh, it's blah, blah. <laughs> Well, welcome to the show, Piot Tier Hole Beyond. Piot Tier Hole Beyond. Oh, yeah, let me get a minute, Dave. Let me get to yeah. the Twitch page before I forget. Oops. Oh, yeah. Check it. it do we have like a. We have an echo. This is like a really bad echo. Um. Oh, uh, let me let me listen in. Hmm. I'm hearing an echo, but that's because I'm listening to both the stream and, and uh, this. Well, turn the sh... Mm. Tell you what, oh. mute me. Oh, yeah, let me see if I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to temporarily leave the call. Okay. Sorry, folks, we'll try to get it fixed. Okay, so we're not actually echoing then. Okay, yeah, there's no echo. The game's audio just naturally sounds that bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, okay, well, let us know if the, our voices start echoing or anything. But, yeah, I think that's just James Pond. Copyright 1991 <laughs> Millennium. Who's better than Sonic because he can swim and he can drive and he can stretch up high and Sonic needs to get out of here. Uh. Are we voice echoing? I wonder who it is. <laughs> oh, never mind. P.O. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm back. All right. I, I had to give it another listen, just just to be sure. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's see. Oh, it First takes me simple. back. Locate keys to free trapped lobsters from cages before they are abducted by the evil lobster checker catchers. Uh. Okay, so what the hell is? I could never figure out what the fuck. What animal is he? Cod, well, he's a, I think. He's a cod. Uh oh. Cause he looks like a frog on the on like the cover art. He wow, looks like a well polished is... turd. So I haven't played this f before because I thought. That all the James Pond games were kind of the same, and the one that I played was Robocod, I guess, and he was like stretching. What? what? Oh what? yeah, there are Kaizo blocks in this game. We're only about five minutes in, and it's about as peak Amiga as it gets. Mm -hmm. Like I've always noticed that the Amiga games have this weird quality to them. Yeah, they're really just a mulligan stew of different, like, platforming elements. 
They're really unfocused and weird, and in most cases, really hard. Well, they even look kind of the... I mean, I don't want to say the same, but they have this weird look to them. Yeah, it's saturated and cartoony and, like, lots of weird elements that don't go together. That's because, like, like most other PC game markets, it was just a Wild West. Okay, what would what killed me? You died? Yeah, I'm just losing died. energy. Oh yeah, that's right. You have a time. Maybe limit. you need to come up for air. What kind of cod can't breathe underwater. I don't know, Dave. View to a spill. The Acne Oil Company is allowing oil to gush into the sea from an old oil platform. Place the dynamite at the base of the platform to blow it up. You must escape in time. Press fire. So now he's conducting terrorism on top of espionage? Mm-hmm. I mean, he does it all. I wonder if, like... Okay, yeah, he's totally a spy in this game. And I There's guess... something very Darwinian about blowing up an oil pipe while you're in the water, and that's your primary <laughs> fucking... License revoked. License revoked? What? Which government does he work for? Um... I didn't even know Fish had government. I didn't know you could go past those pipes! I didn't know either. I honestly think I own this- like, I know I own this game, I don't know if I ever got past the screen. Okay, well where am I supposed to put this dynamite? Probably right there? No, fish don't have governments, they have schools. God damn it. Right for school. Well, I'm supposed to... Wait, am I supposed to... Oh, maybe it's one... Okay. Alright. I just can't believe these games were just teaching kids how to, how to be a terrorist. And in, in these Amiga games, you're always just collecting random shit, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure that was a Garfield. <laughs> Underwater Mondays. Got myself a nice orb. And a mushroom. A lamp! No, that wasn't a mushroom, that was just a lamp. A piggy bank. A Sunday, I think. Okay, where's that would be more of a death preserver for fish, wouldn't it? Yeah. W where's the dynamite? Do we have to run. The away? dynamite is in your mind. Oh, I have to go in. There's here, more to the maybe? level. Oh, there's more dynamite. What the fuck? The. Uh, Whoa. Oh. Okay. Being in here is painful. Yeah, yeah it is. Watching you play is pretty painful too. <laughs> A seashell, the one actually appropriate thing. <laughs> Like, you guys are seeing this where the screen just goes blank, right? Yeah, I thought that was just the stream messing up. No, this is... it does that in the game. I'm remembering why I never finished this game. What the hell? Beginning to remember why I used this one as a coaster. Have we committed terrorism yet? I don't know. Oh, I thought the shell was attacking me. Did you just get an Unchaku? I just... the shell is my friend now. Wait, that's a Rubik's Cube! was that cube. a set of jumper cables? Oh, let's solve a Rubik's Cube.
Yeah, I thought the shell was attacking you literally this entire time. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Is like, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, squid must be instant death. Oh, I am definitely remembering why I didn't finish this game. Because it was terrible? Yeah. Okay, wow, this is incredible. There's actually a Funko Pop that I, I want to buy. Is it James Pond? No, it's King Dice. <laughs> <laughs> they did a King Dice Funko Pop, and it actually looked pretty good. Here's the thing. I mean, some of the pretty stuff good that for they... a Funko Pop, or just pretty good? No, pretty good in general. Yeah, apparently Funko makes some things that are okay. You're gonna need to back up these claims. I put it in chat. You know what? I'm just gonna disagree. I don't think that looks good. <laughs> I like I like that. It looks like it's <laughs> like the like the tweet. It looks like he's gonna come to fuck my wife. Oh, it's still just about as bad as all the other Funko Pops. I mean, he's got distinctly Pac-Man for eyes, but... That's a Funko Pop that's gonna come and fuck my wife. I'm gonna give her the old what for. The old ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. <laughs> I mean, King Dice kind of fucked me many, many times during that fight. <laughs> Why not my wife? Oh, what the hell? You just can't even touch the octopus. Did I lose two lives? I... You know, it's an Amiga game, so probably. Extra gum. Extra. I got some gum. Oh, I got an extra life, and now he has four fingers. I ju oh my god, I just noticed that in the corner. Yeah, that's his um, lives meter. So the screen share does- the screen share will like randomly update, but not all the time. So, he- like, he- he- one of his eyes was looking down from, I guess, an old, um... Oh, he was like half an and half. Screenshot. Yeah, so he had like the best Google eyes. <laughs> Damn, how much of this dynamite do I have to... You know what, I'll just put it all over there. Okay, those are sucking me down, I think. Maybe it's just a trick. What the hell are you? Brain shrimp! Now he's a life preserver. Now you're a product. Hmm. There you go. Oh, I haven't what seen the... any of the. Uh, I haven't seen any of the Funkos besides the uh, King Dice one. So I've only- I never even knew that this was an Amiga game first. I only played the, uh... I only knew it as, like, the Genesis version. Yeah, we got a lot of really weird Amiga ports to the Genesis because we didn't really have a home PC, like, gaming market like the Europe did. Uh-huh. I mean, some of it was good, like the Chuck Rock games, those were all Amiga ports. That's uh, true. I've got Shadow of the Beast in here, which kind of looked interesting. But then you've got, like, this and Pugsy. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think Pugsy was all that bad. I mean, like, technically speaking, it was a pretty brilliant Genesis game. The problem was it just wasn't fun or interesting. No. Okay, so I'm going to take a... Uh, 
Because I managed to get... Sometimes, like I said, my... Um, if I full screen it, it won't update, like, all the time. So I'll get, like, a half and half. I managed okay. to capture... Uh, I managed to capture this perfectly. Oh, boy. What in the fuck? I just remember, yeah, like, a good amount of Amiga ports, you know, like, as sloppy as they sometimes were, they were halfway decent. The only thing is... Oftentimes the music took a big hit because I, I'm pretty sure the sound trips are pretty different. And sometimes they got really sloppy just kind of transferring the MIDI files and picking new instruments. Mm -hmm. I also wonder if the speeds had anything to do with it. Because, you know, like PAL has a 50 hertz refresh rate. Yeah, that's R60. what I wondered. Like, in, I just always thought it was weird that PAL games have like a slower rate than some other games. So like the music sounds weird. Yeah, I'm, it makes me wonder if a game like this is a little bit more tolerable, because it does feel a little bit twitchy. I mean, it feels... I mean, I don't want to say it feels good, but... <laughs> it's responsive, at least. Yeah. Maybe I mean, like... Toilet paper. <laughs> okay, where are these gold bars at? I'm supposed to find okay, eight I of these buy, things. I want to buy every single thing on this on this Cuphead page. Oh, they're down here, probably. These are just the sunglasses. They're sunglasses. They probably do nothing oh. but make me look cool. Cool is not the word I would use. I'm trying to figure what's making that sound. Is that a oh, it turns the game into bubble bobble. Okay, there's a gold bar. There's one up there, too. Okay. Do you have to actually pick him up? Like a schmo? Uh, pretty sure. Well, you and, come to me. and I can't even have the sunglasses at the same time. Oh. Uh, told you come to me. I think it's time to play something else, Dave. God. What kind of sense does that make? I can't, like... Wear sunglasses and handle gold at the same time? What kind of world are we living in where you can't even handle gold and sunglasses? You sure that's not just like a brick of country crock or something? Yeah, it might just be some With margarine. Great power. Yeah, like you can't be cool and hold that at the same time. <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, maybe it's like trying to maintain just... your dignity while eating ribs. It just ain't happening. Yeah. Maybe uh, butter's just really uncool in this world. In the world of the UK. <laughs> Come on, I want this... Yeah, let's see. I want this Garfield and these place. I Love New York cups. Like, that's literally a Garfield. Got any dynamite left over from the last mission? Mm. Ask that pirate. Whoa. Wait a minute. The mushrooms warp me. For some reason. Yeah, that's what mushrooms do in video games. Oh. You got some glue to huff over there. So you pick the bomb up and you get points, but then you just blow up. That is a very odd risk reward system. I don't know, it seemed to work for Taz just fine. Oh, Taz has an iron stomach! Yeah. But we don't have an iron anything. We're not Robocod yet. This is teaching me Whoa. that the games that I didn't finish when I was a kid, I probably didn't finish for a reason, and are much better than I assumed them to be. 
Well, here's the thing. Runch played through Animaniacs on Sega because I told him to. And it was bad. Like, I don't remember it being that bad. It was really bad. I played the SNES version of that. Well, the SNES version was, like, okay. But the Sega Genesis yeah, one, one is really mean. Like, it'll do really, really nasty shit to you. Just, like, warp you backwards in the level if you try to get something. Huh. Oh, the glue slows me down. I mean, that is what glue does. Well, yeah, but then you get, like, other stuff that, you know, by that logic, if I got, like, an I love New York coffee cup, then I should love New York. Well, do you love New York? Well, I don't know. Do I? You better. I'm kind of ambivalent to New York. Well, let's see. Got another one. Oh, shit. I love New York, you guys. Yeah, I could really go for a pastrami on rye right about now. Yeah. Hey, that goat... So I'm I? walking here, ghost. <laughs> hey, I'm donking here. Okay, am I just stuck here forever? In hell? Stuck in this... Stuck in this... Oh, okay. Hell form. Finally. This game sucks. This is, yeah, this is uh, not good. Whoa. I want you to listen to this. Alright. What the fuck was that? Was that the pause? That's the pause sound. Whew! It kind of sounded a little bit like the Transformers sound effect. I mean, it's, a, it's okay. Like, it, it'd be good for, like, a... On the next chapter of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Goku... Um... I don't know, punches somebody in the face. <laughs> Goku falls into a pond. That's what happens on Dragon Ball Z, right? Uh, okay, yeah, this game enough. is terrible. Yeah, it's uh, like once every ten episodes, and then, like, nine episodes, are like, watch Piccolo go to the BMV. Um, yeah, and then, then then you remember why you want to watch it in the first place. Go to Genesis ROM. Uh, Pugsy. Yeah. I remember now hearing about this. Now we're getting into the high-octane games. Do you remember, like, back in McDonald's Christmas time, like, probably 1991, where they were giving away video cassettes, certain video cassettes when you bought food? Um, actually, shit, yeah, I do. Absolutely. I was probably an infant. Well, they had this... Whoa. Okay, now you got my attention, Pugsy. Um, no, they had this promotion where... I think it was one of four video cassettes. Uh, I think one was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. One was The Addams Family. And I think one of them was like a, a romance movie or something. But the uh, Adams Family VHS had a, like a promo thing on it, and one of them was for the game Pugsy. That's almost apt. Yeah, That's the only I experience I have off. with Pugsy. And they were like You're showing the game, off. and it and it was like, hey, it's it's me, Pugsy. Come play my game. You know me. I, I've lost all the pieces to my ship. My nose is a really weird dick. I'm like Elf, but not. It's like, oh god, I don't like the way I don't know. I don't like the way it moves. I don't like the way his head moves. I don't. Why like, do you always have I don't to like that. pick shit up in these Amiga games? Oh, you can do this though. Whoa. I did well, don't it. you know the great British pastime is picking shit up in your yard? Yeah, it's tidying up. People 
people were awestruck by this game when it came out, by the way. Oh yeah. My God. They because... were like, damn, this game has a physics engine, and look at the graphics. Okay, let's we see were... what we can do. You are easy to please. You can actually rubber band up and around things if you're grabbing something as Pugsy. Whoa. Is this like an idle to tails? <laughs> Good level, Pugsy. Well done. Well done. Hmm. Oh, it's it's a world map, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, what? Pick a new button, Dave. I'm sick of this one. Uh, I don't know which button to push. Start? Okay. Oh, yes. We get gun. Wow, we're good. We just ran up with a gun. Yep. You know what Pugsy really needed was a gun. This is way more fun and immersive. There you go. Is this the gimmick? Yeah, you're not supposed to do this per se. There's a, there's a puzzle to be had here in stacking shit up, but if you do it right, you can rubber band up there. There you go. We're finding all those hot threats. We're uh, gonna start gonna start speed running category for this game. I'm guessing I gotta stack this shit. Yep. Well, you don't gotta. You could turn the game off, but you know. No, I'm, de dad, I'm determined. Uh. You've gotta flip it, turn ways. Take gun percent. Well, that was worth 900 points. I don't think Pugsy understands the concept of currency. Maybe he eats pennies. Yeah, it's like Alf, but he eats currency instead of cats. Oh, no, more like a baby. Yeah, he eats the Wall Street fat cats. Damn, this really does has kind of a physics engine. Yeah, brought to you by Bethesda. What is this thing? I absolutely wouldn't be surprised if some really- Is it a peanut? Looks kind of like it, or a Pac-Man eye. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's sunglasses! Why do all these games have sunglasses? They were just all about that rad, rad time. Yeah. But at least in this game, I can pick stuff up and have sunglasses. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to, like, do it the real way this time. You only need, like, what, one barrel? Yeah, why am I being so lazy? I don't know. I guess just because I can. Okay, I meant to get Savage. the gun to deal with you, but that works too. Ah. Fine, I'll stack the boxes. Ha! <laughs> 
Unfortunately, this is a European game, not an American one, so guns don't solve everything. Mm. But they come close. Yeah. Oh man, Clax. I do like you get a kind of a little bouncing activity when you rubber band off stuff. How did you know that, Max? Because I tried this game before. Oh, you have? Yeah. Where? Uh. Definitely a legit copy that I bought with real money and put it in my real Sega Genesis. Okay. You went to the real store and bought it, and you were like, "Yeah, I'd like a real copy of Pugsy, please." And they were like, "Okay." Yeah, I went to Babbage's like two months ago. Mhm. Mm that place that you go to is it still uh. open? Oh, you can't... Ugh. Okay, that works. I think there's no time limit. Okay, this gun's causing yeah, more you're... problems than it's fixing. Yeah, you're allowed to move at your own pace. Pugsy. Pugsy, you're kind of dumb. <laughs> Damn it. It's like watching somebody fail at the box stacking puzzle to get the banana tied to the roof. Oh, I think we may have just lost Max. Oh, oh. he's back. Are you back? Probably just had to be mute for a second. You know what? Fuck the skeleton key. Unless I have to get it. gonna ignore this skeleton key. Maybe you have to bribe that bird to help you get it? Uh oh. Oh no. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was one of the world guardians. <laughs> I don't even know what that thing is. If you could just get get a gif of that, of just Pugsy dropping down and shooting that guy. Just accidentally no-scoping. Uh, here, let's see if I can put that... Pessy, what in the fuck? Oh, we got a tiny chest. Oh, I see. The sunglasses are a hit. Okay. I dare say this isn't right. actually that bad. Uh, compared to James Pond, I think anything would be 
uh, anything would be good. But yeah, this is fun. This is this is this is a game that I would have bought. It's a relatively chill like game. <laughs> it, it, if if Sonic if Sonic this is Xanax this is Xanax the hero everything is just Xanax the hedge fine. fund. Just everything calm, relax, no attitude. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not running fast. I'm not going anywhere. Look at the. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna get killed by a starfish though. But. But I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy about it. Look at my weird floppy deck head. I've made my peace. <laughs> it's really what this game is about: making your peace. I I think it's weird that. The, like, this rubber banding feels like a glitch. And it's like they just made a game around it. Like they like they made it while working on another game and they're like, fuck it, we got we got some gold here. Uh-huh. And I mean at least you kill everything that touches you. Like, I don't even know what this is. It looks kinda like a beak. Maybe I have to put it on a bird statue. Oh, there was a bird statue at the start. Oh. I could see people... I could see this being, like, marketed today and having people... There you go. Really, the creator of this one has made two Sonic games? Were they the advanced ones? Because I can kind of see that. No, they didn't. Runch, that's a lie. Really? Traveler sales? Oh, I could see that, yeah. Didn't they also uh oh, do... World Guardian. Fuck. Yeah. What do I throw at him? Actually, this is pretty nice. Uh, fish? I'm trying to pick the fish up. The singing in Sonic R was the best. Like, it was the worst, but it was the best. Meanwhile... Okay, that's all the levels of Puxy you're allowed to play. Now go play a cartridge version of this game instead of this silly copy. Oh, Traveler's Tales. Wait, was this a... I guess the guy who sold me this copy of the game sold me a fake copy. I didn't know that they could do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's uh, Pugsy. At least they were nice enough to put this instead of, like, a giant pink scorpion that kills you. Yeah. Well, I'm shocked they were able to even detect that back back then. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, copy protection is actually really interesting. Like, so many people have done different things with it. Oh, uh, it's like one of my favorite things to research. Yeah. Because, like, the Earthbound one, you know, it's like, uh... They just oh, yeah. put enemies everywhere and made it just really unfun to play. Yeah, we fell into, into Bowser's time trap. And we warped backwards. And we fell for hours. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know. Pugsy was kind of cool. Yeah, I, I don't know how we'd be able to get a... I don't know how we'd be able to get a legally obtained copy of the full game. Yeah. Go to your local small store and buy a legally obtained copy. Wait, let's, what's junior mode? It just tells you right off the bat, Hey kids, tell your parents to go buy the game, you cheap bastard. Is this different? It's, it's just Kirby. It's... It gives me oh, a so bunch of... give you everything. Oh, it just gives me a bunch of things to play with. Oh. Oh. I see. So you can just, like, have fun and play with things. this. Ooh. Gonna save that for later. Oh, it's sneakers! Oh man, we got our shit on point. Man, we look ready to sell some breakfast cereal or something. <laughs> hey kids, fuck the Noid, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a balloon. At least I think it's a balloon. Yeah, it is a balloon. Oh shit, we could All right, now we now we found the proper speed strat. Yeah. Yeah, some of these things don't do anything. Let me know if it uh, persists, and we might split. Oh, the stream lag that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is just they stacked all the shit here for you. Oh, so that's why the anti-piracy got triggered. Why? The game doesn't. The game has a password system, and if it detects SRAM, uh, it'll do that. And SRAMs are common on pirated carts. So. Huh. I don't know, it's fun to just kind of mess around with stuff. Yeah, they could make like a pretty cool like uh, Mario Maker out of this. Jeez, I thought Pugsy was gonna suck. Yeah, no, this, this ended up being pretty, uh, pretty damn solid. Hey, Chef. Hey, how's it going? Oh, that, that's just the first level again. Oh shit, the uh, Head of Traveler, uh, Traveler's Tales has a YouTube channel where apparently they just go into like detail about how they made these games. And, Is that Game um, Hut? Yeah. Yeah, Game Hut's a neat channel. Like, they did this one video about how, um, like, uh, when you look at it on the face of it, like the, you know, the 3D intro mu movie for Sonic 3D Blast? Yeah. Like, if you look on the face of it, that movie shouldn't have been able to fit on a Sega cartridge that, that was, you know, that small. So what mm. they did was they had all these tricks where it's like, well, first they squished the video down, then they made it so it, like, rendered only, like, every second line. And then they did, like, mm. a dithering thing 
where, I don't know, they did, they just did some neat tricks to shrink the video down but still have it be readable. Man, people are nuts with how, how good they can make things. Mm hmm Oh. Is Junior Mode gonna actually let us play the whole game? I wonder. <laughs> Is that gonna be the way through it? It's like, yeah, you can play through the entire game, but I'm you're gonna look like a fucking baby in the process, you baby. Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> It's not like this is Cuphead. I think that was actually a World... Well, no, that wasn't a World Guardian. Oh, by the way, I put the clip in uh, chat of, of uh, the no-scope. Cool. Yeah. Looks like there's a haunted mansion at some point, too. This episode, Pugsy finds space religion. Oh, the search of Church of Scientology, then. <laughs> <laughs> that was a short level. And again, it is junior mode. Oh, it's that Sonic I, 2 yeah, boss. Say, whoa! No, that's a that's a Bubsy OC right there. I guess we just gotta dodge the plungers. Oh, well, my Sharona plays in the background. Nah. Well, on to the next game. Yeah. Which is Golvelius. Golvelius? I believe that one might have been mentioned in chat earlier. Yeah. Oh, no, they're talking about. Oh, this Galahad. is a compile oh, game. Anger. Hmm. Oh, shit! Our, our good buddies from, uh, yeah. Poyo. Let me turn the sound up on this one a little bit. The fun thing with compile games is you never know exactly what kind of art style you'll get. It's non-licensely dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> well, you moonwalk like a motherfucker. Oh yeah. Okay, we are. We have. We're <laughs> Moonwalk Adventures 2014. Okay, is there a turn around button, Runch, or is it just like the move forward, never back? To defend your king Never against surrender. the foe's attack. <laughs> Looking back is for cowards. You stab things so hard they explode. I'm gonna bounce here and throw my young at you. Worked for Yoshi. Okay, so the power-ups can go through walls, but you can't. Oh, that was a dirty trick. Oh, fuck. At least you have all your power back. Oh, those are the snakes from Wonder Boy. I like that your hair is permanently in whoosh position, and now we're in Snake's Revenge. The legend of Snake's Revenge. Okay, we've apparently pissed off some sort of snake god. 
I mean, that giant snake very look snake y Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot of snakes. We don't seem to really have a health meter. Oh, I thought that said bees and snacks. <laughs> Guarded yeah, by what, snakes, huh? Gonna... Guarded, Guarded by snakes, I never knew. Fuck you, it's top down and side scrolling! Thank you for your response. Yeah, I'm not writing that down. Oh, wow, did it really, like, try to catch Runch in, like, naughty mode? Yeah, I, I, I just, I, had, I, I corrected it. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, let, no let swearing, Runch. You can't fucking swear here. Whoa. This is, a, this is a family stream, god fucking damn it. Crystal, 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 Goldman, 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 or Gold Max. Whoa. What? Yeah, what the fuck? Is the UI fu- are we, in, are we playing DDLC again? <laughs> is the UI fucking with us? Wait, no. No! <laughs> you know, I'm starting to see the design flaw with never be able to turn around. Okay, so is the game supposed to be doing this? Um... I don't think the game is supposed to be doing this. It would be an interesting choice. It's an uh, artistic design choice. They asked the sprite artist for good graphics, and this is what he did. I think we may have... Okay, Halloween's going into overtime. Let me check and see. Uh... Tonight it's us versus the game. We're, we're on a quest to find Polybus. Polybius. Polybius, that's it. Yeah, Polybus. Polybus is like the bus that you get on when you want to date a bunch of people. No, that's the bang bus. Obviously, that's where I'm supposed to go. I think uh, it's where you're supposed to go. I just don't know if it's in the same dimension. Well, well, now it's not letting me in. Oh, I have to, I have to kill a bee first. And then the tree becomes not a tree. Yeah, then the tree disappears. That's how it works. Like instead of uh, attaching the bee to the tree, it attaches the, attach the tree to the bee. I'm really just hoping that we're, we just activated some, like, deep... Like, in between Pugsy not wanting to give us the full game, and... <laughs> did... Did some, like, Dark Force cor corrupt your, uh... Legal Genesis player? Well, I don't know. Like, it's true that I bought this Sega Genesis from, like, a gypsy that said, like, it, there was a dark curse on it. But I thought they were just joking. 
I thought it was just a glitch, so I kept playing. Sorry for the pauses here. I I've got to keep an eye on something. Yeah. Like, people like to shit on creepypastas because a bunch of them are really bad. But some of them are actually pretty good. Like, it's a fun writing exercise. Like, try to make one, but not be, like, uh, cliché. Try to make something original. Creepypasta? Like, pretty much in my opinion, DDLC is creepy. Like, that is a creepypasta. Like, just done right. Well, the guy who wrote it made a creepy pasta that was apparently really popular. Yeah, it's listen. It it writing scary stuff is hard. Well, writing um, writing a lot of stuff is hard, scary stuff included. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Writing in general is just really fucking hard. I'm just gonna move this. All right. So I'm bit. noticing that like the scrolling menu is still technically your menu. Yeah, it is. I just... I'm just gonna pretend that that was intentional. There you go. Um... Did he make Sonic that again? No. Sonic EXE I mean, I know is, he... like, terrible. Yeah. I know he made Project M. Uh... What's that? Uh, that's like the, um, melee, uh... Oh yeah, he does a lot of, uh, Smash Brothers mods. I, I know that because I've seen a lot of Doki Doki, uh, Literature Club shit posts that, like, he's like, let me, let me show what each of my characters think about Smash community. Yeah. Okay, Runch, just tell me, am yeah. I supposed to go in here? Uh, Runch actually said that earlier, this is where you're supposed to go, but you may be a bit underpowered for it. Oh, do we have to, like, level up or something? I think we have to fight the level up menu as the next boss. Okay, let's try another direction. Yeah, S SCP Foundation is really interesting because it goes the, like, gamut of really good and really bad. Um... I think just in general, the entire self-insert, like, that's, yeah, that's, that's where, that's where people lose me. Well, but like, it seems like a lot of ones are just like, let's take a video game, but make it creepy and bloody and gross. Um, I think, I think what a lot of people don't realize is the whole thing of less is more. Uh-huh. And so, like, the creepiest stuff is sometimes not what you see, but what you don't see. Okay, I guess I need more gold for potions. I'm, I think you can swing your sword like a wild man. Um, method is actually working the best. They just have so many. Maybe snakes are easier for right now. are getting a really good vertical leap. Yeah. Yeah, this is back back in the day when Compile didn't really know how to make a video game. Is this like their first Before game or something? Uh, no. I believe the Mato Gatari series was before this. I think that was like 1987. This is 88. Yeah, there's just too many of these things. Do I have enough gold um, now? I 
almost feels like some kind of like co I, I can't tell if some copy whoa yeah you got you got gold okay so now I've got double life bar I think you're back to where you the help you were started back to where I was at the start yeah let's oh see if maybe God. I can just tower... tank tower draga that that's a game that uh I only knew know about that because they came out with an anime for it a couple of years ago. Um, it was like a fucking like Atari ass uh, RPG that they made like this really beautiful anime for. I don't want to say beautiful because I haven't seen it, but like it, it would be like if they made a. An, an anime out of adventure for the Atari 2600. Fighting the Yeti? It's a soggy. He's trying to make yeah, my take milk. The snow. Trying to make my milk go all or my cereal go all soggy. Is that it? I don't even know what you got from that, but... Oh, maybe just one crystal? No, I unlocked the thing. I've almost got enough. How do I even get more gold? I think from murder? I guess I need a bigger sack. There's a fundamental flaw in Glove Alias, but I won't say what it is until it's obvious. Of a couple enemies have ridiculous luck on. Uh, and there's too many of them. Yeah, it would be nuts if like there literally was something wrong with your emulator and we activated some like earthbound copy. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. That would be a good end of the night. Yeah. You have to buy wallet upgrades. So yeah, you literally can't afford. That I can't afford right to get more money. Oh, it's Zelda all over again. Okay. Sure. Oh, she only took 50. Yeah. 
Where am I going? Get where we're... Um, too late. What? What? Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> calm, calm down there, Skippy! But I gave you money! Can you give me a little bit more? No, not too late. Well, I'm gonna go by. What? What? What do angels even Someone's need money a... for, anyway? <laughs> Judging by her response, therapy. Whoa. I literally don't think we can have more than a thousand gold now at any point. Yeah, gold max one thousand. Yeah, but... How do I get more? It's never enough. I gotta bet on those horses. I gotta bet on those snake horses. <laughs> I don't give a damn about this. I can smell the cards. I mean, I, I, this is pretty much what living in Arizona is like. Oh, it's those desert frogs. You know, the ones that they sound like a squeak toy? Oh, a path just opened. Okay, the fundamental flaw in Galveales is it's a continual grind. I see. Well, there's also a fair amount of puzzle solving, I guess. Because you're always trying to kill a monster to open up a door. Where will it pop up next? Push the blue rock. Oh yeah, push the blue rock? Okay, I'll go do that. I'll just go right over here and... Oh, push look! Blue rock. It's blue rocks! I'll find the bluest of the blue. I need the true blue rock. Ask them all their opinions on holy shit, there's so many fucking bats! I like this. Why can't it just be this? Yeah, we haven't, we haven't done the side scrolling part in a while. Those snakes are just trapped in there forever to die in the skull. Um. This is a word. Maybe a Japanese word. S I'm gonna go on a little bit of a limb here and assume that that's gonna say Sega. Sega. Oh, we found the Sega cave. Well, it appears that we're at an impasse. <laughs> Man. See, I can handle this guy. Hell, the bosses are easier than the stages. Even just like getting to the stages is. You, you have to fight 500 million billion bats to get in there. Like, I was having and fun with this until we went to like the overworld where the game just spawns 5,000 enemies at you. Is this just a regular enemy now? Good job taking care of my brother, kid. This is the origin story of Triclide. Well, he went down pretty damn easy. That's because I've got experience fighting him now. So what if you fall down there? Are you just stuck forever? 
I, I, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, stream is apparently, um, stream's a little choppy. If you want, uh, we can cut the, um, screen share, if that's, uh, yeah, I think let's just, help you with some of those drop let's frames. just do that. Well, I can't really do that now because I'm being attacked by a turtle. See if you can, like, change it to source. Maybe that helps. No, it's, I think it's, um, because I'm looking and you got a, you got a, a fair amount of drop frames. Huh. It's okay, it, it, it like, with, with the game of this quality, it's kind of hard to notice as much. I don't know why that would be the case, though. It's just a, a Master System game. Is my computer just getting old? I think it's, I don't know, I, I think it's just, it's just so many snakes. I mean, it was okay before, games. right? Um, I see, like, a little bit here and there, but nothing, like, too noticeable. This game in particular is making it go way more. Like, usually, uh, you had about maybe, like, um, 2 to 3% drop frames before, and now, now you're running at, like, 24%. Hmm, yeah, I'm kind of in the red. I don't know. Maybe that's a good place to stop it. I think that's a good... Uh, yeah. Govelius. Honestly, surprised that the winner of the night was Pugsy. And yeah. Pugsy wouldn't even let us play it. What a tease. What a tease. Yeah. Well, oh well, we'll look yeah. up some more Amiga ports for next time. Yeah, we'll look up for some more Sega tapes. But, yeah, that's it. I've got to kind of cut it short tonight. But uh, thanks to everybody who came. Had a good time. Uh, yep. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yep. And, uh, wait, before we go, I just quickly want to plug that um, this upcoming weekend, uh, I'll be doing um, Extra Life for um, uh, Children's Hospital. We're going to be playing 24 hours of Thinkly Not Straight of Dark Souls games. Um, 12 noon to midnight on Saturday and Sunday uh, donations can be made at bit.ly forward slash no easy way out 2017 yep. I'm working on the overlay stuff right now it's it's going to be pretty cool but um, if anyone wants to come and check that out I'll be running that this weekend yep go ahead and take a look alright so we'll Thanks see you next time out. thanks for the suggestions these were kind of fun yeah, yeah, these were good. We'll see you next time.